Notorious house in the heart of Dinky Town, where violence was so intense last year, every single person inside was evicted. Plans to reopen this time with strict new rules, but it's not a done deal yet. Danny Spiewak has the new conditions for the home and why U of M students nearby say they still don't feel safe. Just steps from campus. Renovations are underway at the students co-op on University Avenue. I feel like we haven't really had time to process what even happened last year. The shared living affordable housing space wants to reopen this school year after fights and shootings led the city to shut down the property last June of 2022. We don't really like it, that's for sure. Tate Mahachik lives in a fraternity down the street. Chaos at the heart of University Avenue. That one year stretch where there was all that junk going on, it was like guys are scared to go outside, guys are scared to walk to the wreck. There were dozens of 911 calls related to that specific address alone. Co-op leaders blame the violence on the pandemic. After students moved out, they say new occupants without leases moved in, leading to evictions. I just want to be able to go to bed at night and not hear gunshots. As they prepare for reopening, the co-op drafted a new lease banning tenants and guests from criminal street gang activity or acts of violence. Also, the city council passed new licensing restrictions on the co-op requiring tenant background checks and an MPD security review. Plus, 75% of residents must be college students. Given what we saw last year, do you think these stipulations will be enough? I do. I'm hopeful. Uh, I think, you know, what happened last year was totally unacceptable. James Farnsworth is a University of Minnesota region. And I know just through some casual conversation that there's been alumni of the co-op who have been active in trying to right the ship. I just hope that they have a strong emphasis on safety and security. Neighbors like Tate Mahachik are skeptical about the new restrictions. The fact that they didn't follow them when everyone else was last year. I don't know why I would believe they would do it again. But he's willing to give the co-op a second chance. And hopefully the new people moving in are going to be much better. I bet they really have no choice. And just to be clear, the co-op is independently owned and not affiliated with the University of Minnesota. But a city spokesperson says the co-op has already paid a fee to renew its city business license. However, that license is still pending. The co-op can't reopen until it gets all of its permits and passes a city health department inspection. Randy. All right, Danny, thank you. The state